everybody, this is Tutu Readings, and today this reading is going to be for Art Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. From September 12th to September 15th, we're going to see what's up with your person. How are they feeling about you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? The Empress in the reverse fell out. Mmm, lack of forward movement. So, you can check out the individual signs on my channel, okay? You can also check out my Vimeo readings. They're about your specific person. I'll be linking those down below. You can check it out according to your sign. Let's start with Virgo. Then we're going to do Capricorn and then Taurus. So let's do Virgo. Seven of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. The Two of Wands. How are they feeling about you? Damn. Okay, so this is somebody who, um, yeah, they do have feelings for you. This person does have feelings for you, Virgo, but I also get that this person's very self-focused. They, um, this is somebody who focuses a lot on themselves. Um, maybe they walked away from you in the past, okay? It's like they're, they're wanting to be with you, but then again, I feel like this person has a habit of overthinking or thinking a lot in general. Okay, maybe this person thinks a lot. They do have feelings for you with that Ace of Cups. Um, I do feel like this person's very focused on their money. They might be keeping tabs on your social media. And I feel like they were keeping things up in the air with you, Virgo. Okay. Oh, something came to an end here for a lot of you. There was this tower moment that happened due to somebody resisting, yeah, the death and the tower. So things have ended between you and this person um, due to them resisting, okay? I see a lot of resistance in the energy here between the two of you and that caused that breakup or separation. It's like they have feelings for you, but then they're closed off and they're confused about what to do next. Why that Ace of Cups? The world, yeah. I do see you two dealing with one another, but for uh, for some of you, Virgo, you have your options open. If that's the case, um, they're keeping tabs on you. I feel like if you have a new option, there could be somebody new coming in your way too, if you have your options open or if you have an option. If not, there is a comeback around, but for the most part, it is looking a little bit difficult. Yeah, there's a lot of anxiousness in the energy between you and this person. With the new person, it is looking better for you, Virgo. Uh, if you have one or if not, maybe you need to keep your options open. Yeah, you need to hold back from something. And I feel like this person is also going to be holding back a lot from you. Uh, they have a hab habit of holding back. They, they, it's like they're very self-focused. They focus a lot on themselves. And in the past, there was this tower moment that happened between the two of you, Virgo okay they do have feelings for you but they resist their feelings and thoughts about you as well okay maybe this person was the one who initiated this breakup i see them holding back a lot for the most part but i also see reconciliation for you so this is the most uh confusing energy yeah i do see reconciliation for you um once this person gets past that energy of resisting so right now they're resisting a lot but they're contemplating coming forward and communicating with you i do think there is somebody new coming in your life or maybe i don't know but it does look like there's a love offer coming in your way which also was the message i believe that popped out in your own reading virgo i do feel like there is love coming in for you and in the past there were some disruptions the signs that are here are Scorpio, Libra, Aries, Taurus, Aquarius. Leo is very evidently here and Taurus Virgo Capricorn is here too. Now let's see what the Romance Angel Oracles are saying for you, Virgo. What are the messages for Virgo? Pay attention to the red flags and attraction. I do feel like there's a lot of attraction between the two of you. Um, 
yeah they, this person never opens up about their feelings but it's like they want to give this relationship another chance but how is this going to work out if they don't open up oh yes you're going to be hearing from your person virgo yes you're going to be hearing from this person um i do feel like they're going to be back look at that give your relationship another chance i do feel like they're going to be back But there are other things here as well, which I think is not opening up about their feelings. I do see you two dealing with one another again. There's a lot of attraction between the two of you. Okay. Now let's do Capricorn. Tell me more about the feelings of the person Capricorn is dealing with. Tell me more about the feelings of the person Capricorn is dealing with. Tell me more about the feelings of the person Capricorn is dealing with. From September 12th to, till September 15th. Capricorn, oh my goodness. This person closed off as hell. why are a lot of people getting that two of pentacles it's like a lot of people have been treated like an option or a lot of people for a lot of people their person was not like choosing them and choosing other things i feel like you have walked away from this person capricorn um they're very closed off to you they're they're all about themselves they like to be independent and i feel like this is somebody who forces their opinion as well so they have like you, you're dealing with somebody in your life who who forces themselves like their opinion on you what they say and what they do is a hundred percent and that's about it this person uh wonders a lot not enough movement towards you this is somebody who's <sighs> there is love but there is silence okay Capricorn, for the most part, I see them being very silent because they don't even know what to do. For the most part, they're holding back. They're putting that energy and work into themselves. This is somebody who's very independent and they like to be ind independent. Could be dealing with the Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is very evidently here. With some Aries, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn a little bit too and a little bit of fire. But air sign is here a lot. Capricorn, this person's holding back a lot from you. Maybe this relationship needed honesty. Yeah, five of cups. But at the same time, they're sad about what happened between the two of you in the past. Why? Why? Yeah. So they're sad because they had love for you. They did have feelings for you. And I feel like you also have feelings for them, Capricorn. But I feel like right now, you both of you are holding back a lot okay both of your hold yeah you think it's a disaster waiting to happen you're focused on yourself they're focused on yourself they're focused on yourself <laughs> they're focused on themselves what am i saying <laughs> maybe yeah they are focused on you but they're, they're not really speaking about that they might come in with communication but i think even if they think about communicating with you, they kind of like tell themselves that, no, I shouldn't be thinking about this right now. Let's just do what I was doing. So there's going to be a lot of waiting and hoping for now. They are disappointed because they have love for you, but I really don't see them initiating contact. Okay. We did get Gemini here again. So major, major air sign energy. Okay, Capricorn. Let's see what the Romance Angel Oracles are saying for you. Codependency. Maybe somebody was codependent on another person here. It's safe for you to love. Somebody has trust issues and has, has a hard time opening up about themselves. Yeah, I just see lack of effort in this relationship. Keeping an open mind. I do feel like if both of you kind of like uh, keep an open mind and give this another chance, maybe this could work out. But I also feel like somebody here has got trust issues. 
Or maybe you wanted for them to make more effort towards you, okay? And then you would have reciprocated, Capricorn. But for now, your message seems to be that, yes, something could happen between the two of you, but keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So don't get, you know, don't feel like there's nothing ever going to happen for you. Just, you know, I feel like you have your own trust issues as well. And you might be closing off as well to this person because they weren't putting enough work and effort. Okay. But there, for some of you, there could be something that comes in your way very soon. Okay. Now let's do Taurus. Any messages for the person Taurus is dealing with? What are their feelings towards Taurus? Any messages for the person Taurus is dealing with? What are their feelings towards Taurus? What are their feelings towards Taurus? What are their feelings towards Taurus? Wow, Taurus, this person is coming in to communicate with you. Yes, Taurus is getting communication like nobody's business. This could be some somebody who walked away from you. They're contemplating a lot. They find you very, very attractive. Um, this is somebody who in the past might have rejected you or maybe they were acting like they're too busy for you in the past, Taurus, but they're returning. Let me say the signs that are here real quick. We have Libra, we have Pisces, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and then Scorpio and Gemini, Aries, okay? Wow. Maybe you have trust issues with this person, Taurus. I see a lot of communication happening for you, Taurus. You name it, we have it. There is somebody coming in towards you. Look at that, okay? But Taurus, I feel like this person has a lot of love and a lot of attraction towards you. And for some of you, I'm also getting two people. Maybe there was a third party on their end in the past, but that could just be for some of you. But for the most of you, first of all, I'm getting two people for you, Taurus. So if you're dealing with two people, they might both be coming towards you. If not, this could just be one person, but they have a lot of feelings for you, emotions for you. Uh, they see growth and expansion with you. They find you very attractive. This person is a little bit scared of rejection. So keep that in mind. So if they come in and talk to you and you don't respond, it's going to be a little bit difficult for them to open up more. This is also somebody who takes their time and contemplates before they make a move towards you. Yeah, I don't know how else to put it. They love you. They want you. They're going to be making a move towards you. But there, there is this energy of what if Taurus doesn't say yes to me? You know what I mean? They find you very attractive and they're taking their time right now, but I feel like they're going to be coming in. Maybe this is unexpected. This is also somebody who's very focused on themselves or could be some a little bit of a player like energy as well. Very flirtatious player like energy, but just for some of you. This is a player. If this person has been, you know, showing you player like tendencies, then this is a player who has feelings for you. Okay. We have fire, water, a little bit of air here, okay? Fire was a low. Let's see. That was a nice, quick message for Taurus. Separation, right now, you all might be going through separation, Taurus. You are focused on yourself. You might be ignoring them. Oh, they do have feelings for you. I feel like this person's going to be back. This person's going to be back. Children, maybe some of you have a child with this person. This could be the one. So this is how they think about you, Taurus. They think that you're the one for them. Right now, you're very focused on yourself. You do have trust issues with this person because they have given you a reason to. But overall, I do feel like they have feelings for you and that is solely why they might be returning to you because they do feel for you, Taurus. Okay? 
So anyway, those were the messages that popped out for Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. You can check out individual sign readings as well as my Vimeo readings for your person. Yeah, that's it. Take care and bye-bye.